Win News. Tonight, the Green Sea Red over claims they're planning to scuttle next month's budget. Calls for ACT retailers to cease trading on Anzac Day. And recent rain provides a boost for local sheep farmers. Good evening, I'm Jessica Good. The ACT Greens have denied media reports they're preparing to block Treasurer Katie Gallagher's first budget. Labor and the Greens are in the midst of intense budget negotiations, but the Liberals believe there's serious tension simmering behind the public facade. Two weeks out from the budget, it was the headline that had the Greens seeing shades of red. Look, this is a beat up of a story. The Greens leader denying tensions between her party and Labor are on the boil as they nut out which parts of their parliamentary agreement can be funded. So far everything's going OK. Remember this is also the first budget um, of a four year assembly and so not everything is going to turn up in this budget. The Greens say it's highly unlikely they'll block the budget that comment surprising the opposition. They've voted against a lot of budgets in the past, uh, so maybe they know something that we don't know if they're already giving their support to this budget. While the Greens say they won't act like petulant children if they don't get their way in the May budget, they have released their party's wish list. They want to see more funding for mental health, an improved public transport system and funding for a public library in the inner south. The party pointing to the success of the not-for-profit Goida Street Library in Griffith as proof the inner south community wants its public facility back. We believe that this is an um, initiative that does need to be funded. If you're in minority government you need support for your bill of supply, the appropriation bill. Katie Gallagher will deliver her first budget on the 5th of May. Lachlan Kennedy, Win News. Coming up next on Win News, the Canberra community digs deep for charity and our In Your Town special continues with the Goulburn sheep sales. And Phil has the latest sports news next and the Raiders prepare for an informed Bulldogs outfit. Yeah, at least it's at home. Jess, that's next, along with Brumby's preparations for a trip across the Tasman. And round two of the motocross nationals brings out the best at Fairbairn. Canberra Raiders halfback Mark Herbert is out of football for up to six weeks with an ankle injury. Josh McCrone is now the likely replacement. The Raiders coming off another disappointing loss on the road. The 40th running of the events. No doubt you'll be having a run on that one, Jess. Piece of cake. I'll need a big <laughs> head start. Thank you, Phil. Not against me, you won't. <laughs> we'll stay with Win. I'll have all the weather details next. Then artwork focusing on ancestral spirit power. And that's Win News for Monday night. If you have a news tip you'd like to share, you can email us at Cantips. I'm Jessica Good on behalf of our news team. Thanks for joining us. Good night. This has been a Win News presentation from Win Television, Australia's largest commercial television network.